Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, some of you guys are doing So this is your uh, general, your general love reading for July We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading See what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself And of course vice versa as well Guys feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, it is timestamp Okay, so this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. So if you click in the click in the description bar below, see where it says start reading, click on that, and uh, that will bring you to the uh, star reading. Okay, so I'm going to clarify these off camera, take them in, and uh, I'll be... <laughs> so Capricorn, let's start the read it. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right, so this is this is a deep reading simply because there's stuff going on with you in terms of just your experiences with relationships, just in terms of uh, maybe past trauma um, that kind of needs healing. So let's t let's let's start your reading. Let me explain what's going on here. So whoever this is that you're dealing with. There was confusion in the past with that seven of uh, cups there. Confusion around this. As much as we do have that justice card there. As much as, you know, you feel like you're deserving of this connection or meeting this person or building a relationship or even having the opportunity to, you know, build a relationship with this person or even this person coming into your life, there is still confusion. There. It's to do with your past quote-unquote mistakes uh we got that knight of swords there which talks about his knight of swords is a very reckless energy and then we have that three of three of swords there so your past mistakes has kind of gotten you into situations where you end up being hurt and now it's like those memories or those past experiences are coming up for you now and it's causing you to kind of just uh, and again, this is where you guys are coming from. It causes you to be confused as much as you want that empress, which talks about the birth and creation of something. As much as you want this person, you want to build something with this person. It's like, I need to move properly. I need to be mindful of how I handle this situation. Because again, going back, I feel like it's the past. Definitely regarding mistakes that you feel you've made. Just when it comes to uh, relationships and uh, connections which has caused you to kind of uh, protect yourself uh, want to protect yourself from those experiences because it's been painful for you you've had some you know past experiences which has caused a lot of hurt um, unbeknownst to this person this person is kind of you know seeing you as someone that they connect with someone that they want to establish something with so they were kind of moving towards you very much ready as well, ready for a relationship with that King of Cups there. Feeling like there's a deep spiritual connection or some form of, and you're showing up as the High Priestess, so you're acknowledging the deepness of this connection or the extent of this connection. We've got the High Priestess there, so they feel it too, which of course naturally causes them to want to move towards you um, to create uh, uh, you know, to, 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 to create something new, to have something new, to start something new with the view. And you, similar to what, what you're feeling and thinking as well. I feel like they kind of started to be a bit hesitant in terms of their offerings, what they do because of them picking up maybe slightly on how you're responding to them. Again, we're going back to this confusion here, it, you know, this act in a certain way because you just don't want to be hurt. I don't, I'm hesitant to say I'm blaming yourself, but there's an element of self-blame there. It's like I, I have, I've shown up like this in the past and it caused this and I'm now blaming myself. So as much as I feel this connection um, with this person, I'm, I'm, I'm really 
hesitant about moving forward. I'm very much needing to protect myself when it came to this or when it comes to this, which brings us to where we are at the moment. You showing up as a high priestess. Like I said, there is this acknowledgement that there is a deep, a deep spiritual, deep connection, a deep connection, soulmate even to that extent. But is well, it, it really is. This is a tough one, Capricorn. This is a tough one. It's like you want to move forward, but you, it's like something's just pulling you back. You can't because memories of the past. It's like I'm still trying to weigh up whether I should move forward with this person or not. It's not even so much whether, it's can I move forward with this person or not. I need to get there's communication. We've got that communication part. So there could be some communication going on here in terms of you communicate with them. Doubt it though, but for some of you that is the case with that eight of wands there. You communicating with them or even just thinking about talking to them about what's going on with you. Um, because it's completely, you know, different from how they're showing up. They're ready to pursue this. They're very much just, their energy is very clear in terms of being ready where yours is, is, is kind of not. Um, as much as we've got that ace of wands there, which talks about the opportunity to create something. So you're feeling, it's, it, it's really a difficult situation. I'll tell you what it's like. It's like, this person is right for me. They feel right. Uh, you know, we connect. I want to move forward. I feel like this could turn into something, but I just can't. I can't move forward because of past mistakes. I keep wanting to say mistake uh, because of how you're interpreting it as it's like mistakes. I did something or I moved a certain way or I've been, I've continued to do something that has caused not possibly just not only hurt for you, not only pay for you, but the other person as well. And I just don't want to do that when it comes to this relationship. I just don't want to do that when it comes to this person here. Hence the, this person is just, they're ready. They're ready to move forward with you to build that 10 of pentacles there, which talks about, you know, solidifying the relationship coming together. They are, there's an awareness for them because they got the shadow card there. We've also got that hermit card there. There is this awareness of if this doesn't work out for them, it's like they don't want to face that. It's, do I want to say their worst nightmare? I don't want to say, well, their worst nightmare, but it's along those lines. It's like, I'll be devastated or I can't face, I can't face that. I can't face maybe this person. Maybe this person, maybe there's been a long gap from their last relationship until they're meeting. Let me just make sure this is on perfect until they're meeting you because there's some, it's like they just can't face the thought or the idea of this not turning out, this not working out. Thinking things are going to, because we do have that tower card as well. Look, thinking things are going to crash down, come falling down when they're feeling like this is. You know the beginning of something. This is the beginning of a new chapter, a new journey that I'm I'm more than willing and wanting to embark on. But my Capricorn is slowing down the pace. For some of you, you could be still engaging. Of course, you're engaging, but it's like it's got its grips on you. This past, these ideas of the past, because that's what they are ultimately. You know, living in the past. Uh, solidifying your beliefs about your capabilities of operating within a relationship ultimately i'll bless you because it's more about you not wanting to make us you not wanting to feel that again you don't want the person to feel that again it's like i want to move forward but i can't I, then i step back it's like a step forward and then i kind of pull myself back it's that type of thing which explains us explains where this is heading to this person starts to think things that could possibly be the reason as to why this is not moving ahead which is so not true which is so not true so let's move into the extended version of the reading and kind of get a fuller picture see where this moves to links in the description bar below guys um and i shall see you guys in a bit